When we're ready to sing, we step up at the microphones and it comes out something like this. We came in the studios with Levi's and T-shirts, smoking cigarettes. The older guys were saying they're going to wreck the music business. In the hardcore producing area, everybody knew what went on there. I mean, everybody knew that the best musicians played in all the sessions, but we as the general public didn't know. They played so well, and they played so well together. I was in awe then because of Phil Spector. I pulled my car over the side of the road and said, what am I listening to here? The musicians were really the unsung heroes of all those hit records. When I listen to the record, it is so apparent that these guys were just really so good. And you can see why everybody used them. The Wrecking Crew was the focal point of the music. They were the ones with all the spirit and all the know-how. We made up a lot of arrangements ourselves. We would either augment or totally replace a group. The public was oblivious that there was a secret star maker machinery. I had no idea that people didn't play their own records until the monkeys came along. We were so busy. I was making more money than the president of the United States. Seven records of the year. It was unbelievable. <laughs> Here's the way that the beat goes on, sounded when we first heard it. La -dee da da da. Yeah, I said, uh oh. The third line I came up with was. The beat goes on. They were the stone cold rock and roll professionals, and there may never be a group of that caliber again. Da 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 blah.